Hey, what's up, people? Cody here today. Are you guys tired of using the custom interfaces the game gives you, like advanced or even extended quick bars? Or would you guys rather have something like this? Maybe even something like this? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how through the interface editor. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do when you're in the interface editor is you're probably going to want to name your current loadout. For this one, I'm just going to name this one video and we're just going to be going off the advanced quick bars that the game gives you. And then next, we're just going to click save. So now what this will do is if you guys want to have custom ones for like a specific class or one for PVP, like I have one for tank, then I don't want to have one for my healer class. You guys can do that, but I'm just going to name this one video for now. So now after we got that named, the first thing that I like to do is I like to go to my utility bars and I like to shrink them down a little bit. To about 0.75, I don't like having them too big, and then I like to take my second utility bar down here. I like to drag that up to the top, and then I also like to change down the scale of it as well. So with your utility bars, you can go ahead and change the scale. Alpha, what alpha does is that's going to make it more or less transparent. You can, you can also enable or disable it, and you can also change up what slots you guys want them in as well. So next thing I like to do is my menu bar. I like to also change the scale down to that as well. 0.75. You can also have this one be vertical if you want to as well. I don't like it having being vertical, so I just change down the scale a little bit smaller. So the next thing I like to do is tutorials. I will enable tutorials. So anything that is red is not enabled. So you can either just enable it or unenable something. So I don't need tutorials. So I'm just going to put that in red so I don't see it because I don't ever need to see tutorials. Same thing for my player cast bar. I don't really need to see my player cast bar, so I'll just hide that as well. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is my experience bar because I'm level 80. I don't really need to see my experience anymore, so I'm also going to go ahead and just disable that. And I'm just going to drag that in the middle so I don't have to worry about it. You, you can also just leave it wherever it is. I just like to have it in the middle just so I know where it is for the video. So the next thing we're going to be looking at is we're going to be looking at our, our quick bars. We have six quick bars. If you guys can't find your fifth and sixth quick bar, they're over here in red. All you got to do is just enable them. So now with your quick bars, you can go ahead and increase or decrease the scale. You can go ahead and also make it transparent or less transparent. You could increase the number of slots or decrease the number of slots. Or you could have how many slots per row you guys want. So for this one, we're going to have this one be three. And then next, I'm going to drag this one to about right over here in the middle because I like to have my buffs over here, especially for when I'm a healer. I like to have my buffs over here in the middle, right next to where I'm going to have my operation frames because I like to do operations a lot. And when I'm doing operations a lot, I like to make sure my buffs are next to me so I can always have my cleanse right next to me so I can cleanse people really fast or I can make sure I don't ever run out of energy because I'm constantly just staring at my player's health bar when I'm healing. So that's why I like to have it over there. And same thing when I'm tank. Most time I'm looking at my player's health bar so I know who I got to reshield and stuff like that. So that's why I like to have my buffs kind of like right there in the middle of my face so I can at least remember to click them. And then also to mention before I forget is you have your snap to UI grid. What this does is when you move something around, it just makes sure you see that grid on the background. You just make sure everything's all even and stuff like that. Sometimes I use it. Sometimes I don't use it. It just depends on like what I'm doing with it. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just bring up our player frames up here and our main quick bar and our psychic quick bar real quick. We're going to go ahead and take one of my other quick bars I have down here. We're going to go ahead and increase the slots per row to 12 as we leave this one far down as the bottom as I can. That's why I like to make sure my grid's not enabled for this one because I can make this one down as far as I can. Next thing, I like to make sure my next utility bar is just slightly underneath that one and then next the same just... For this one, I like to make sure this one is just slightly underneath that one. So when it's done, it should look something like this. So the next thing I like to do is your player frames. I like to just move that to make that line straight up with the other one. And same thing for my target frame. I like to move that right there to match up with the other one. So now for your player frames, you can make it bigger or smaller. You can also make it more or less transparent or you could flip vertically or horizontally. And you could do the same thing for the target frame. 
So now what I like to do is my player buffs. I like to move that right next to my name. You can change how big you want it, how small you want it. You can have the icon scale be bigger, smaller as well. You can have it be more transparent. You can have the, the effect by row if you want to have it be at the top, you want to have it be at the bottom. I like to leave mine about six per row. You can also, if you don't even want to see your buffs, you can just also enable it or disable it. And then you can also change what if you want it vertically or horizontally, or if you want to highlight your effects as well. I like to make, I like to leave my buff scale to about 0.75. And I like to make my icons just a little bit bigger. And then next, my debuffs. My debuffs, I like to put right above my name. We're going to go ahead and move this temporary ability bar for a second. Now my player debuffs, I like to have that above my name. And I like to make that the icon scale pretty big. And I like to make the scale pretty big. Because for me, I play as a healer most of the time. So I like to know when I have my debuffs on me. So I can either cleanse them. Or, or if I'm in an operation and I have like a debuff I can't cleanse. I know I need to run away from the team or something like that. Your temporary ability bar is your heroic moment. I like to just leave that about slightly where above my name maybe in like the middle right here and then i like to have like the scale down to a 0.75 so the next thing we're going to be looking at is our operation frames so what we can do with the operation frames is you can change the scaling of it to be bigger or smaller we're going to go ahead and change this to about 0.75 you can also make it more or less transparent i like to just leave that as 100 next you got your debuff scales i like to have that at six point at 0.65 because like again, like I said before, now you have your debuff scale. I like to leave that at 0.65 because I like to see what teammates have the debuffs on them so I can cleanse them. My debuff scale, I like to have that about 0.3 to make it a little bit bigger. You can also change how much party spacing you have. I like to leave that at zero. I don't really like having them be too much spacing. You can change how much you got it per row. I like it at three. And groups visible, I like it at six. So now what health height and health width is... I like to have my player's health bar be as big as possible on my operation frames. So when I'm healing them, it's a lot easier to see how much health they have when their whole health bar is, is their whole name of their frame instead of it just being like a small health bar. So how we're going to do that is we're going to set our health height up to 40 and our health width to about 150. And we're also going to show health text and show only removable buffs. And we're going to click save. That's going to make the operation frames a little bit bigger. We're just going to go ahead and just drag that to about here at the top of our at the top of our buffs. And then we're going to click save. And the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to take our stronghold toolbar. And I'm just going to put that about right under my temporary ability bar. And now we're going to look at our target of target down here. I like to have that. We're going to enable it. Yours is going to be disabled. Just like mine was. Now for your target of target, you can change the scale, the debuff scale, the buff scale, and you can flip horizontally. You can also show effects at the bottom or the top. I like to just have the um, buff scales just about slightly bigger and then the debuff scales just a little bit bigger than that. And then I click save and I like to have that about down here. And then I also like to have the cast bar down there. And now for our companion, we can just drag this one right down there. You can change the scale of it. I like to have it about 0.75 and then their cast bar. I don't, I don't like to have that enabled so I just disable that so I don't have to worry about it. Don't, don't take up too much room on my screen. The next thing we're going to look at is our group frames. The only thing I like to do here is I like to make sure they're about pretty close on to each other. You can also change the scaling. You can enable or debable them. You can change their debuff scales or buff scales. I just like to make their buff scales a little bit smaller and make their debuff scales a little bit bigger. And then that's all I really do for that one. Next is your arena scoreboard. If you're doing PvP, I don't really do much to this. You can change the scale. You can enable it or de-enable it. Most of the time, you probably want it in enabled. You got your minimap. The only thing I like to do with my minimap is I just like to scale that puppy back. But you could mostly just do that in your um, settings up there. So I don't really worry about too much of my uh, map settings. Same thing with your minimap. You can have it enabled or disabled. But most of the time, I just use my world map instead of using my minimap. So I just have my minimap disabled. My tooltips, I mostly just keep my tooltips the same. Same thing for my achievement tracker and my mission tracker. And that's going to be the unit interface for Star Wars. If you guys like the video, please give a like and subscribe. Please give a comment down below what you guys want to see next. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.